Allison, thank you. Yesterday, Tooele High School students were sent home. Their cooling system couldn't keep up with the record heat. Uh, with all this heat, can you imagine yeah. being inside an enclosed building with no AC? Yeah. Fox 13 News reporter Michael Gooby spoke to district administration about the issue and has more on what the situation is today. Tooele High School has about 1,900 students. Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m., students were sent home because the air conditioning was broken and it was too hot to be in the classroom. Now officials say that problem is fixed and students were back on campus on Thursday. This was the large one uh, that went out uh, for about 80 classrooms, the gym, things like that. Brian Beccarini is the area director of schools in the Tooele area. He says the Tooele High School has two air conditioning systems, which he says is pretty standard across the state. So at 930, when we found out classrooms in, on the second floor where the heat rises were at 88 uh, and it was only 930 in the morning, it's supposed to be 100 degrees that day. Uh, we just made the call um, knowing that it was going to hit that threshold. Beccarini adds they made the decision to send kids home when temperatures came close to the state guidelines of 90 degrees being unsafe in the classroom. 16 buses um, for the school and um, sent students home, got, made sure they got lunch, grab and go lunches. And so it was pretty incredible just to watch um, you know, district operations team, our transportation team, executive team, and the school administration, to the teachers, to the, the lunchroom, all work together and dismiss school in 30 minutes. Students went home and had assignments to submit online. And that afternoon, maintenance staff fixed the part of the AC that was broken. We got it in, uh, it was operating. Uh, we gave it a couple hours just to ensure uh, there were no residual effects from it going out. Um, so about 3 o'clock yesterday, we said, yep, we're good to go. Um, kids will be back at school and no issues so far. He says they informed parents right away and made sure the safety of students was top priority. Before even uh, teachers knew <laughs> that we, were, we, we got it out to parents quickly um, and then uh, sent a private email to teachers. Beccarini says this kind of situation doesn't seem like it happens often. But people said, hey, this is a first for us uh, with the building being too hot. Uh, School officials say they will continue to do routine maintenance and make sure that equipment is working well so this doesn't happen again. But they say that if it does, they are equipped to deal with the situation. In Tuila, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.